Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening. Nice. Teacher, yes. I listen to Okay, perfect. Good evening, good evening. Hello. So when we start the class, um, we say good evening, right? So because we are about to start the class, when we finish the class, so that is different, right? So at the end, we say good night. Okay, we say good night. So, but at the beginning, algunos ayer me dijeron, um, dijeron good night at the beginning, right? So good night is uh, until the end, until the end. So at the, when we are in the greeting part, so the welcome part, so it is good evening, okay? So okay. in English, we have like, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. In Spanish, we have just three, right? But in, in English, at uh, four o'clock, until you go to bed, you will say good evening. Ya cuando ya va en pijamado, que ya va a dormir, que ya va para la cama, ahí sí, ahí sí se le acepta que usted diga uh, good night, porque en teoría usted ya, ya va a descansar, pues ya no va a, ya no va a volver a ver a la persona y ya se está despidiendo, right? So that's, that's something that I would like to mention. So uh, thank you so much for being on time and also for um, your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. Um, Ana Peña and Roxanne Arce, remember that you need to sign in in the Zoom app with a full name, okay? Si usted solo pone un nombre y un apellido, Ahí hay un error, ¿ok? Usted cuando entre a la plataforma de Zoom, debe de asegurarse que usted coloque dos nombres y dos apellidos si los tiene así en el DUI, ¿ok? Eso es bien importante y prácticamente todos los días se lo voy a mencionar hasta que todos lo pongamos ya correctamente, ya que este... Es parte de su asistencia. If you don't have full names, so we don't track the attendance, okay? So in the video, it's not being recorded that you were here, okay? Siempre que ingrese, eh, Ana Peña tiene que agregar second name, second last name, y Roxanne, okay? No necesariamente se van a salir de la, de la video conference para poder hacer el cambio. Usted puede ir a la opción de participants o participantes, Y ahí, este, ahí hay una opción que dice, eh, está su nombre. Usted va a ver todos los participantes y usted es el primero que está ahí en, en la lista. Ahí hay unos puntitos, una opción que le dice eh, renombrar o cambiar nombre o rename, si usted lo tiene en inglés, right? So rename, ahí le da clic y ahí le va a dar la opción de editar el nombre que usted tiene en la plataforma de Zoom, ¿ok? Así que hay dos personas que no lo han, que no lo tienen bien. Por favor, arreglemos eso para que no tengamos ese problema. Creo que todos estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp el día de ahora. Si usted se fijó, nos enviaron. Let's see. Ah, sí, aquí está. Eh, it says right here, recordatorio, conectarse puntualmente y la hora completa. Eso ya se mencionó yesterday, so we are not going to talk about it, uh, that uh, one more time. Uh, conectarse con su nombre completo, según tú, y ya ve, no es invento mío. Ahí gracias a Ana Cristina que ya lo arregló. Ok, so. No es invento mío, es un requisito que aquí nos piden siempre. Roxanne Arce, aún falta que corrijan su nombre. Y dice, el enlace a la videoconferencia es el mismo. Lo encuentran en chat directo y en la información del grupo. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. So, there you go. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we are going to start today class. Remember, this is the second day. So there were like four people missing yesterday in this group. So if you were not here yesterday, please go to the YouTube channel 
and uh, watch the video, the recording class from yesterday, right? Because I'm not going to repeat everything that I mentioned yesterday, okay? Lo que ya se dijo, ya se dijo, usted no vino, vaya y vea el video para que esté eh, enterado y después no diga que no sabía, right? So welcome, appreciate that now we have more cameras. So Glenda, Lisette, Briseida, Janet, Flor de María, I don't see your cameras, okay? Please turn on your camera. Remember that we need to keep the camera on, okay? Uh, we are, let's see, uh, based on the chat or right here, the participants list, we are 17 out of 25. So that means that still we have people missing, okay? But it's time for the attendance. So I'm going to pass the attendance. Remember that I'm going to be uh, passing the attendance in twice, right? At the beginning of the class and also at the end of the class. And you need to answer the attendance, right? You need to be with your camera on and you need to let me know that yes, you are in the class, right? In order for me to um, add your attendance, okay? So, um, let me see, let's start with the attendance. Make sure that you have audio um, and keep your um, audio off if you don't, you don't need to say something, okay? Ahí creo que Ana Cristina se le activa el audio de repente. Ahí tengamos el cuidado que eh, nuestro micrófono esté apagado mientras no estemos participando, obviamente, right? So, uh, let me go to the file right here. And uh, I'm going to start the attendance, okay? Let me see right here first. Um, this is yesterday and this is today class. Okay, so today is the 25th. So, Ana Cristina Peña. Present. Nice. Briseida Janet Garcia. Present. Nice. Carlos Adolfo. Present, teacher. Nice. Um, Claudia Yesenia. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, then we have Daniela Mercedes. Present, teacher. Nice. Um, then we have uh, Emmanuel Efraín. Teacher, good night, everybody present. Good evening, good evening, welcome. Good evening, I'm sorry. Nice. <laughs> okay, Evelyn Janet. Evelyn Janet, no está. Uh, then we have Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no. Uh, then we have Freddy Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. Glenda Lisette. Glenda, no. Um, let's see. Present teacher. Se me había Okay, you're Glenda, right? Yeah. Nice. Iliana Maria. Present teacher. Nice, so Iliana, you were not in the class yesterday, right? So, no. okay, no problem. Please uh, watch the video, right? About to yesterday's class. Um, let's see, uh, Janessi Alexander. Present. Nice. Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson, no? Uh, then we have um, Jorge Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Alberto. Jose Alberto, no. No vino ayer tampoco. Jocelyn Tatiana. Can hear teacher. Nice. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. No. Eh, Kevin Ariel. 
Kevin Ariel no vino ayer y ahora tampoco. Luis Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Rachel Esther. Rachel Esther, no. Rebeca Paola. Rebeca Paola. Dios mío. Hoy ha sido el día de las faltas. Ronald Rafael. Present teacher. Nice. Roxana Marisol. Present teacher. Nice. ¿Ya corrigió su nombre, Roxana? Eh, sí. Ok, nice. Uh, then we have Sandra Noemi. Present. Nice. Um, Sara Verónica. Sara Verónica, no. Okay. So, my goodness, many absence today. Remember, the attendance is very important, right? So, usted no viene, eso le va a afectar, okay? So, Roxanne Arce no ha corregido su nombre. Ahí aparece solo un nombre y un apellido. O está conectada en dos aparatos. Eh, es que mi computadora tuve problemas y me conecté desde mi teléfono. Ok, nada más arregle su nombre, no necesita salir, se vaya a la opción de participantes, vea su nombre y cambie el nombre, porque solo tiene un nombre y un apellido y debe de estar según el DUI. Ok, so, then the rest, I guess we are good. So, uh, remember attendance is very important, right? So, let me share the screen really quick and uh, we are about to start. So... Uh, this is the platform, right? So, había una persona ahí en el grupo que, que me escribió igual. No sé si al final le lograron resolver el inconveniente de la plataforma. No sé si todos ya ingresaron a la plataforma. No sé si ya comenzaron a trabajar o aún tenemos algún problema. Todo bien, todos ingresaron, todos hemos captado la indicación. ¿Estamos bien? Eh, teacher. Ya, yeah, Emanuel, go ahead. Eh, eh, yo, este, ok, eh, I can find the format to find an answer. Sorry, one more time, Emanuel. What is the information that you couldn't find? Uh, the format to file and the answer. The format. Uh, so you, let's let's see. Okay, vamos a hacer una práctica aquí para que usted vea cómo vamos a ir contestando la plataforma. Vi que algunos ya estaban hasta eh, como pidiendo ahí ayuda, ¿verdad? La plataforma para los que son brand new in this program, la plataforma es bastante quisquillosa. La plataforma es eh, delicada, si se puede decir. Así, al momento de aceptar sus respuestas, por un punto, por un apóstrofe, por una coma, por un espacio, por una mayúscula intercalada entre las minúsculas, eh, le va a dar error. O sea que la plataforma está ya como codificada para aceptar algunas opciones de respuesta, pero si usted le pone un punto de más, un punto de menos, un espacio de más un espacio de menos, usted le pone el apóstrofe, pone una coma, un palito en lugar del apóstrofe, se lo va a tomar malo. Usted tiene que ver en lo que usted ocupa, sea para resolver la plataforma, usted lo hace en una computadora, usted debe de saber cuál es la función del apóstrofe, cómo sacarlo en el teclado, porque no es lo mismo una coma que un apóstrofe, right So, la plataforma detecta cuando hay un error o usted omite el apóstrofe porque no haya cómo ponerlo, también se lo va a tomar mal. Ok, so, uh, Emanuel, and this is for everyone. So, we need to work in this way. So, as soon as we enter in the uh, platform, ahí les compartí, creo que alguien a, ahora o ayer el link, ¿verdad? La plataforma, en teoría usted... Eh, ya lo tiene ahí en el correo, usted debe de ingresar, ¿verdad? A la plataforma de ingléscorporativo.login.net, eh, ahí, ahí está el link, ¿ok? 
Una vez ingrese, usted va a darle clic a la pestaña de inglés pre-intermedio módulo 1. Ok, so, um, let's see what happened with this. Ok, so as soon as we click, so we are going to see the five sections, ok. So we are going to be working right here in the platform. El manual que yo le envié, el PDF, or PDF que yo le mandé es solamente una guía. Ahí usted no va a hacer nada, ok. En ese manual PDF que yo le mandé, usted no va a hacer absolutamente nada. Solo tenerlo ahí, revisarlo, leerlo, estudiarlo, porque es el manual que le va a permitir ir haciendo eh, las la respuestas, ir encontrando las respuestas de estos ejercicios, ok. So, uh, as soon as we start, we are going to be working with the section number one. So, I guess I told you yesterday about it, but, but let's see one more time, okay? So, we click on the first section, M, uh, as soon as we already complete a couple of exercises, so the platform will redirect ourselves into the last exercise, right? No es que lo va a llevar al inicio otra vez, siempre que usted ingrese, le va a llevar a donde usted se quedó, okay? So, Ayer hicimos hasta el 1.3. So today we are going to be doing the exercise 1.4 that says uh, knowledge check, okay? It says statements with be possessive adjectives, okay? So it says complete the sentences by choosing the proper form of be or the correct possessive adjective, okay? Forma correcta del verbo to be o un... Adjetivo possessivo. Let's see if we can do it together, okay? So, number one, Carlos Adolfo, help us with the question and also the answer, please. Okay. Um, my name is David Garza. Is. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Freddy Alberto, go ahead with the number two. My family is in Mexico City. Uh, number two, I'm sorry. I am. I'm from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. Okay, perfect. My family is in Mexico City. Uh, Daniela Mercedes, number three. My brother are a university student. Is a university student. Perfect. Is because it's just one, right? Better to be. We say are when we have two, three, millions, thousands, okay? Two or more, okay? If it's just one person, it's is, right? Nice. Uh, Janessi Alexandra, number four, please. Sorry. His name is Carlos. Perfect. His name is Carlos. Uh, the next one, Claudia Yesenia, number five. My name is Sumhi Park. I am 20 years old, okay? My name is Suhi Park and I am 20 years old. Nice. Ana Cristina, continue with the number six. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Okay, very good. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Nice. Uh, let's see, number seven, that will be for uh, Jorge Mauricio, please, number seven. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone call me Beth. Her last, my last name is Silvia. Silva. Okay, Silva. Okay, there you go. So I am Elizabeth, but everyone's, everyone calls me Beth. Uh, my last name is Silva. Nice. Uh, Ronald Rafael, continue with the number eight. Hi, good evening. Um, I am a student at City College. Thank you. I am a student at City College. 
Um, uh, Luis Miguel, the last one, number nine, please. Okay. My parents are in Canada on vacation this week. Perfect. My parents are. So, look, I'm doing the exercise. Creo que la mayoría ya lo hizo, pero estoy tomando este como un ejemplo. ¿Cómo usted lo va a hacer? Okay. This is individually. Okay. Este es un trabajo individual. Okay, so all of you will have to complete the exercise. So as soon as you um, as soon as you, you finish, so we click uh, send or enviar, right? So and the platform will give you like a green check mark to let you know that the answer is correct. Okay. Supongamos que me equivoco en alguna por algún motivo, la plataforma me va a tirar una red X. Ok, this means it's wrong. Incluso creo que aquí lo dice. Esta respuesta es incorrecta. Ok, now what happened? You can retake it, right? So you can fix it. No es que ya la regué, ya salí mal, reprobé. No, you can go back. Ok, and then do it again and you say, oh no, this one is the correct one. So you resend it one more time and now you have everything correct. Ok, so ahí la plataforma le va diciendo a usted cómo va. Ok, so in this case you have the 25 out of 25. So you finish this part, so you click next. Ok, and now we are in the other exercise. 1.5, this is an objective, we have to read it. And then we click next and we continue with the next one. And I guess this is a video. Ok, WH questions with B. Ok, we have the same information that we have in those videos it's the same information that we have in the manual okay so no es que el manual tiene una cosa y la plataforma otra cosa lo mismito que usted tiene aquí en el manual está desarrollado en la plataforma quiere decir que el manual es un apoyo okay es un apoyo y este es el que vamos a ir trabajando okay so Are we clear with this part? Estamos bien aquí con la plataforma. Mire, aquí yo ya vi el video. Ya agregué. Aquí yo puedo ver si alguno de ustedes ha agregado un comentario. Por ejemplo, acá hay uno de Carlos Adolfo que ha puesto las WH questions. Ok. So, aquí se va viendo. Y este, este aporte suyo acá le da un extra en su trabajo de plataforma. Si usted va obviando este tipo de ejercicio, es probable que usted llegue a un 99.99, .99, pero no a un 100, porque va dejando ahí un pelito sin resolver. Entonces usted vaya completando todo, 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 todo. And at the end you will get 100% in the platform, right? So you finish this one, the same story. So you click next. Now I'm in the 1.7 WH questions, okay? There are different type of exercise. No todos son de ABC, no todos son de... Eh, una opción o no todos son de opción múltiple, algunos usted tiene que escribir. Creo yo que esta parte es más fácil porque usted solo selecciona el que usted considere y ya. Pero there are some exercises in which you need to type. Usted tiene que digitar. Ok. So, and if you do the typing and you misspell something, ok, the platform will say wrong. Alguien me dijo, mire, pero es que la respuesta está buena y la plataforma no sirve porque yo lo estoy poniendo bien, pero y aquí me dice mal. Ok, vamos a revisar y lo que pasa es que mezcla mayúsculas con minúsculas. Lo que sucede es que este, en vez del apóstrofe deja un espacio y no es así. Ok, so this one is the one. Look, are you from the United States? Aquí pone usted la respuesta. Voy a, a mostrar... Una opción que no debo demostrar, pero lo voy a hacer a modo de ejemplo. A mí me da aquí la opción de ver respuesta. A usted no le va a aparecer. Pero el punto, lo que yo quiero es que usted vea las opciones de respuesta que la plataforma va a aceptar. Mire, todas estas respuestas son válidas. No, I am from the United States. O no, coma, I am not from the United States o no, I'm not from the United States o no, uh, no, United States or yes, I am from the United States. So aquí, si usted no pone una de estas opciones porque deja un espacio, porque pone una mayúscula, porque pone un punto de más, un punto de menos, malo. 
en que usted me diga, no, pero mire, si aquí es no, I am not from the United States, pero algo está poniendo mal. Una mayúscula, una minúscula, y eso le da error. Ok, so be careful with this uh, type of exercise in which you need to be typing, ok, because if you misspell something, así usted di diga que tiene la respuesta, la plataforma va a decir no, malo, no malo, no malo, ok, y no es que usted no sepa, es que hay un error de spelling o hay un error de eh, orden, si se puede decir así, de, de, del typing que usted ha hecho, ok, so mire, en este momento vamos por el 1.14, right? So, what's, uh, what it's in a name, okay? So, this is the way that we are going to be working, okay? Are we clear with the platform? I'm asking you one more time. Necesito que ahora quede claro esto que usted va a hacer. No me vaya a preguntar el día de la siguiente semana, mire, ¿y qué era lo que yo tenía que hacer? ¿Verdad? Tiene usted que estar claro, pero clarísimo, clarísimo, ¿Cuál es su trabajo? Right? So, one more time. Do we have questions? Is everything clear? No sé, eh, Emanuel hizo una pregunta al inicio. No sé si respondo su pregunta. No sé si está una mejor idea de lo que se pretende hacer. Eh, sí, tenía una, eh, la duda esa que no pude entrar a la cuestión esta del formato para llenar las preguntas. Eh, en el comienzo usted puso curso, ¿verdad? Y ahí entró a todo. Oh, yeah. One more time. Let's see. Por algún motivo esta cuestión no me... Le di clic aquí para ir a la homepage, pero no me, no me no llega ahí. Pero let me see. So, yeah, Emmanuel, you're right, okay? So, the idea is that as soon as you enter with your email, so aquí no me quiere sacar, no sé por qué, por algún motivo, pero cuando usted ingresa con su email y eso... Miren acá, dice que yo llevo este porcentaje, mire, 25, ok, so aquí yo puedo ver, usted puede ver aquí, a mí me va a aparecer el progreso de todos ustedes, ok, pero a usted le va a aparecer el suyo, ok, so ese tab lo mencioné ayer, right, progress that will be for you. So, Emanuel, por algún motivo no me lleva aquí a la homepage esta cuestión, pero yes, as soon as you get into the platform, a usted le va a aparecer esto, al fin, aquí, mire, le va a aparecer sí. inglés pre-intermedio, ok, veamos si logro ingresar desde aún más back, no, no me lleva aquí, porque yo ya estoy guardado con el usuario, pero eh, cuando usted llegue a esa parte, ahí selecciona inglés pre-intermedio módulo 1 y ya le va a cargar esta pestaña, ok, so, right here, look, ah, okay. Tiene que ingresar, usted tiene que ver en la parte superior, así, mire su nombre, aquí está el millo, ok, usted tiene que estar dentro de la cuenta, aquí va a aparecer su nombre y ahí usted entiende que ya está dentro de la plataforma, porque muchos se quedan viendo la plataforma desde afuera y no es así, así nunca le oh, va a aparecer yeah. esto, tiene que ingresar una vez dentro, le va a aparecer este perfil que usted está viendo, algo Bastante similar a esto, right? And then you start working. Remember, this week finished on Thursday, right? This coming Thursday is the first week uh, due day. Okay, you know what is due day? When I say no. due date. Aha, uh -huh. lo vamos a poner aquí en el chat. Due date. So this uh, coming Thursday is the due date. Due day, ¿qué es eso de due day? ¿Alguien? Si son palabras nuevas, tome nota, por favor, aprenda. Estamos en un pre-intermedial. Claudia y Yesenia, go ahead. Um, due day is the, is the last day that we have to, to make the homework. There you go. That is the that is the the due date, okay? So the last day for you to uh, finish, okay? For you to finish uh, your section one and section number two, okay? El due date es fecha límite, así decimos en español, verdad? Fecha límite, okay? So another way to say that it, it will be that. That time or that 
uh, date, ok, como así de muerte, va, pero no es muerte, no es que se va a morir el jueves, sino que es el dead time for you to complete the homework section one and two, ok, so, sí. un maestro ya en básico, nivel básico le va a decir, you have until Thursday to complete your section one and two, right, You need to finish. Ese es allá el básico, ¿ok? So this is intermediate. El teacher le va a decir, hey, your duty is this coming Thursday. Your dead time for the homework is this one. Tiene que entender usted que le está diciendo que usted tiene hasta el jueves, hasta la medianoche, en este caso, right, para completar section one and section two, ¿ok? So, Now that we are clearing this part, let's move on into the manual, okay? El manual se los envié creo ayer, ¿verdad? Eh, yeah. So, you all have this, okay? Usted quiere descargarlo, tenerlo, lo puede hacer, okay? So, because this is the, 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 the guide, okay? So, this is the manual that we are going to be using to be answering, okay? And also, um, you need to know that we are not going to be like, doing every single exercise from this manual because of the time. Remember that we have only one hour a day and we have um, we have um, 16 sections, right? No hay así como que un tiempo como para decir, híjole, yo voy a ir resolviendo little by little every single exercise, right? So, no, vamos a ir agarrando lo más importante del manual, la parte gramática, la parte de estructura y más que todo parte práctica que usted haga, que usted hable, que usted participe, ¿ok? So, the section number one, it's called Please Call Me Bet. And we are going to start with this a simple conversation. Where are you from? This is a basic, basic, basic question, right? Where are you from? And this is a conversation between... Uh, Davey and Beth, and it says, uh, hello, I'm Davey Garza. Uh, I'm a new clock member, clock, not clock, okay? Clock member, okay? Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth, okay? Where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? About, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Uh, thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Uh, Zuhi is here. Uh, who's Zuhi? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is uh, she from? Uh, Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-8, okay? So this is the conversation between these friends, okay? Do we have any new work or something that, um, that we don't really, really understand? Habrá alguna palabrita o algo que usted no comprenda acá? We can see, but I guess all the words are really basic, okay? So, but I don't know. Do we have any question right here in the conversation? Uh, clock, okay, Glenda Lisette. I'm a new clock member, okay? No tanto así como una O tan cerrada, es un clock, un clock member, okay? So, do we have any new word right here? Habrá algo que usted diga, mm, no sé. Let's see, right here, this part, lo voy a hacer un poco más grande, no se ve todo, pero yo soy ciega, casi no miro la letra. So, it says right here, uh, Tim, so is Brazil. So, this, is, this expression, so is Brazil, what is the meaning of this? ¿Qué entiende usted cuando David le dice, Tim, so is Brazil? Volunteers? Raise your hand in, in this app. Usted puede levantar ahí su mano virtualmente, ahí en la opción de... ¿Cómo les aparece a ustedes? Eh, ajá, en la opción de participantes, ahí está raise your hand. Ahí está, a ver, raise your hand. Uy, no sé qué dice. Claudia Yesenia, nice. So, tell us, what did you get from this 
apart from David, Tim, so is Brazil. Um, it means uh, Brazil is beautiful too. Perfect. That is the meaning, right? So because at the beginning, Beth says, oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful, right? So, so is Brazil, okay? Like in Spanish, we say, ay, también, también tal cosa, ¿verdad? Es que a mí me gusta el, el verde. Ay, a mí también, this is there, right? So that is the expression in, in English, right? So it means like an agreement, okay? The same opinion. Okay, so because of the time, we need to be kind of quickly, okay? No vamos a tardarnos demasiado en X ejercicio, because we need to take advantage of the time. We need to cover all the units and we need to practice, okay? So let me see. I would like to have like uh, two people right here for the conversation. Vamos a ver quién no ha participado. So uh, Jocelyn, Tatiana and Emmanuel. So Jocelyn, Tatiana, you are Beth. If Emmanuel Efraín, so you are David. Okay. okay, so go ahead and read the conversation, please. Okay. The beginning. From the very beginning, uh, Emmanuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a, a new cloud member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love you, Mexico. Is it really beautiful? And so is Brazil. Oh, good. So he is here. Who's so here? He's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. I'm sorry, what's your last, last name again? Garcia? Actuality is Garza. Oh, how do you spell that? Uh, G A R C A. Thank you. Okay, very nice, very nice. Thank you for your uh, participation and let's see, okay? So remember, uh, pronunciation at this point is very important, right? So okay. be, be um, learning means that you need to sound perfect, okay? It's a process, of course, little by little, but you need to be able to uh, pronounce, right, the words correctly, okay? So let's see, clock, right? So I'm a new clock member, okay? In Brazil, okay? No es lo mismo decir Brazil, because this is not an S, right? This is a Z, okay? Yo lo exagero para que usted escuche el sonido, right? But the Z, that, that is the, the pronunciation for the letter Z, okay? So, Listen, um, uh, look at the look at me in this case in, in your cameras, right? It's not the okay. same, say, fence. Okay, look, como que estoy riendo, sí. Fence, no, it's not a smiling. This is a TH, okay? How do you pronounce the TH? You need to like take out your mouth a little bit, okay? Fence, okay? Si usted no siente como que la lengua se le sale, no lo está pronunciando bien. Si usted me dice, tense teacher, así, smiling, tense. That's not the correct sound, okay? So you are not doing the correct pronunciation, okay? No han oído ustedes en la calle que las personas dicen, hey, thank you, boss. ¿Ya han oído eso? Muy mal pronunciado, right? Because you know that is no thank you, okay? That's not thank you, okay? This is fence, okay? Or Thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, then right here we have a, a, an apostrophe, right? So we have the apostrophe and we have a contraction. Okay, but the letter S, I don't know why, 
I don't know why we normally we don't pronounce the S at the end. Nos comemos la, lo, la S de los plurales. Okay. In this case, it's not a plural, but ends with an S. Okay. Host. Okay. Host. Tiene Host. que sonar esa S porque no es lo mismo que yo diga who a que yo diga host. El verbo to be que está ahí muy importante. Right. So then the same right here with the mat. Si usted me dice mat, así, smiling. No, that's not the correct one. Acuérdense de las TH. Primer, segundo día de clase lo estamos diciendo. Siempre que yo vea una TH together, I need to like take out a little bit my tongue, right? So ahí, math, okay? Math, okay? So uh, we are in the same math class, okay? Uh, Korea also, eh, lo, lo mencionamos como en español, Corea, but this is in English, right? Korea. So Korea is um, spelled. Otra palabra que yo no entiendo por qué a veces eh, eliminamos, las, eliminamos las S. Yo no, no sé qué pasa con las S, pero no las pronunciamos. A veces no las pronunciamos ni al inicio ni al final. ¿Ok? Spell. ¿Ok? Yo lo estoy exagerando, ¿va? pero para que usted oiga el sonido. right? Spell. Spell. Okay, so now let's see. We are going to do something really quick. Okay, we have like less than less than 20 minutes, but let's see what we can do. So these questions that we have in this conversation are really basic. Okay, really, really basic questions. So I'm going to ask a question to someone and that person will need to ask another question to somebody else. Okay, and that doesn't mean that can be the same question, okay? Think on simple questions like, where are you from? What is your name? How do you spell? So what's your last name? How old are you? So what is your favorite? Whatever, simple, basic questions. Not for you, for your classmates, okay? So let's just start with, um, vamos a ver a quien no le he preguntado yo este día, los que no tienen cámara, de ya les digo y los que vienen conmigo en módulos anteriores saben el que no tiene cámara y yo no sé por qué no le preguntamos no porque yo no lo quiera no sino porque simplemente ya dijimos el día de ayer que el que no tiene cámara da la impresión que está dormido verdad que está dormido que está no sé ¿Verdad? No sé el caso, si alguien tiene un problema de cámara, pone en el chat, soy fulano de tal, tengo este problema, pero pregúnteme lo que quiera que yo aquí estoy al 100. Muy diferente, ¿ok? So, let's see. Uh, let's see, Jorge Mauricio. How are you? How you feel today, Jorge Mauricio? How are you, teacher? Uh, today is so, so. My goodness, why you say so, so? Uh, well, I, I am staying home on my home. Okay, uh, so I you are kind of, you were like doing like, a uh, home office or something like that, or why you you mentioned that you stay home? No, it's home office. Okay, very nice. Home office. Okay, nice. Now let's see. Uh, Jorge Mauricio, please choose one of your classmates and ask one simple question. Okay, whatever you want to to ask to somebody else. Choose one of your classmates. A cualquiera de los compañeros, pregunte. Eh, how are you, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno? Jocelyn Tatiana? Okay, hello. Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good, okay. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. So we are going to keep simple because if not, no le vamos a preguntar a todos por el tiempo. So, Jocelyn, now choose one of your classmates and another question. Ya esa ya no podemos preguntar. How are you? Ya está quemada. Otra. Okay. So, Jocelyn, Tatiana, go ahead. One of your classmates. Okay. For my answer is for uh, Glenda Lissette. Glenda Lissette. What is your last name? Hello, uh, my last name is Glenda Lissette. I'm sorry, Glenda, casi no les entiende. Hello, hola. Yeah, go ahead. The question is, what is your last name, Glenda Lissette? I think my Glenda uh, Lissette Mejia Crespin. Okay, so your last name is Mejia Crespin. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see now, Glenda, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with a different question. Ya esa ya tampoco no se puede hacer. Okay, so different question. Sería para. Roxana Marisol. Okay, in English, this is two. Okay, para. Usted me dice para tú, Roxana Marisol. Go ahead with your question. Okay. Uh, <coughs> quería, huh? One question. Tenga la ya lista ahí en la mente porque no sabe quién va después, right? So, ajá, uh -huh, Glenda. Um, who are, who, are, uh, who are your parents? One more time, Glenda, one more time. Excel escucha como bien lejos. Uh, who are your parents? Okay, who are your parents? Okay, yes. well. So, Roxana Marisol, who are your parents? Roxana Marisol? Uh, I don't understand the question. So, who? Did you remember the WH question? Who? Let me see. Let me see. Who? Uh, who? Quien. Uh -huh. Quien. who? are your parents? ¿Quiénes son mis papás? Yeah, but try to do not translate, okay? Usted en su mente, uh, okay? English, uh, English, okay? Trate usted de captar la only idea. Only number, only okay? number. Who are, only ahí name. se me fue el R en el chat. Who are your parents, okay? Teacher, uh -huh. Go teacher, ahead. only names. Yeah, answer the question, go ahead. Uh, uh, my father, Huh? Your father is Juan Arce. My mother is Sonia Baños. Okay, nice. There you go. Okay, there are different ways to answer, right? My parents are Chepito Marillita. Okay, or my parents' names are Roberto Camila. Ejemplo, right? There you go. Okay, so now Roxana, uh, choose one of your classmates with a different question. Um, Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Okay, go ahead with your question. What is your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is The Hulk because it's the amazing movie. It's interesting movie. Okay, because it's an amazing, okay? An amazing. Remember the usage of A and M. Yo digo, um, book, an umbrella, right? So, eso lo vieron los que vienen de módulos anteriores allá en el, en el primero, okay? Nice. Uh, 
Very good. Sandra Noemi, now choose one of your classmates and go ahead with a different question. Is uh, Luis Miguel Lopez Riva? Okay, it's two Luis Miguel, okay? Okay. What is your favorite food? Mm -hmm. uh, it's easy for me. My favorite <laughs> dish is um, fried chicken with fried potatoes. Okay, so very nice, very simple food, right? So do not complicate. Yeah. We have Salvadorians, we love chicken, right? So yeah. we have different type of chickens. Solo las plumas nos faltan de tanto chicken que comemos nosotros, right? That's so true. very good, very good. But oh, but in Guatemala they have even more. Do you know that? I don't know. Have you ever went to Guatemala? But they have thousands of varieties or choose or, or of uh, chicken, fried chicken. We have like I don't know five, six brands. But in Guatemala they have more. Ahí está pollo I, I, pollo brujo hay. I don't know if you have you ever hear about uh, pollo chuco from Honduras. I guess yes. That's the name of the brand, I guess. Yes. Uh huh. It's kind of weird the name. <laughs> the name also in Guatemala, pollo brujo. That's the name, but yeah. it's delicious. Now nowadays we have pinulito. Did you see the brand Pinulito? That is from Guatemala. The first time that I saw it, it was in Guatemala. Pollo Pinulito. Now we have it in El Salvador. Y es mejor que el de Don Pollo. Okay. So nice. It's commercial. <laughs> okay. So Luis Miguel, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with a different question. Okay. My question is from, is for Jorge Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio. Uh, what, what kind of pet do you have? Uh, excuse me, uh, can you repeat? Sure. What kind of pet do you have? Ah, I have a dog. Okay, you have a dog. My goodness, Mauricio, you are so popular nowadays. You have already answered two questions, okay? So let's see Daniela Mercedes. It's my term, Daniela Mercedes. Let's see Daniela Mercedes. How do teacher. you spell? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, teacher, they are restaurant Pinolito store in Santa Rosa, Lima too. And really now I have it here in my city as well. And I guess it's all over the country. The Pinulito, right, Emmanuel? Yes. Yeah. We have, Rosa Lima. we have, where are you from, Emmanuel? Or where are you right now? Are you um, from Santa Rosa de Lima? No, San Salvador. Ah. But, but <laughs> okay. I, I, grew up, I grew up, um, I have, uh, I live in Tonacatepeque City, but uh, I grew up in San Salvador. Ah, okay, okay, but yeah, you're right, you're right, Emmanuel. Now we have Pinulito all over El Salvador, okay? Nice. Okay, <laughs> okay. so let's see Daniela, right? Daniela Mercedes, how do you spell your second uh, name? Uh, my, sec my, my second name is M-E-C-E-D-E-S. And the letter R? R, sorry. <laughs> M E R C E E R. You miss the R. M E R. Yeah, sorry. M E R C E M E R C E D. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. Now, Daniela, choose okay. one of your classmates. R is silent. Uh huh. <laughs> Keep it. Uh huh. Today results right. The R is silent, but it's not. It's not silent, Miguel. <laughs> Yes, sorry. Okay, nice. So, Daniela, just um, one of your classmates. A los que no les han preguntado, Daniela, okay. ellos pregunten. Um, Raquel. Rachel, okay, go ahead Rachel, with the question. Rachel, Esther Lobos. Tell me. Uh, okay, um, which country would you like to travel to? Um, I would like to travel um, Spain. 
Okay, I would like to travel to Spain. Okay, I would like to travel to Spain. Okay, nice. Uh, I really would like to say why and start the conversation, but the time is running so fast. And we have just yeah. four more minutes. My goodness, time flights. Okay, so you see, this is the way that we are going to try, okay, to be doing in the class. I know that we need to cover the material. I know that there are a lot of information, but I really want to practice with you, okay? Because if we are just reading, 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 no dormimos usted y yo. Así de fácil, ¿ok? Es noche, cuerpo cansado y uno está con, cerca de la cama y da sueño. Y si estamos solo así como leyendo, leyendo, no dormimos, ¿ok? So we are going to see the manual, sí, vamos a ver lo que tenemos ahí, pero más que irlo leyendo y ir viendo de, de hacer ejercicio más práctica. Mire, diga, haga, hable, diga esto, porque así... Okay. No, no dormimos, ni usted ni yo, porque hasta a mí me da sueño. Si ya estoy cansada de todo el día y si, 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 no. So we need to be, you know, keep energy during the class in order for us to be awake. Ya el hamster a esta hora ya no quiere. Pero we need to do double effort, you know, double effort to keep the hamster up, okay? And try to practice and use the language, ok? Usted va a ir repasando el manual de una o de otra manera a fuerza cuando vaya haciendo la plataforma. Entonces ahí usted va viendo lo del manual. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer aquí, es como reforzar, ver, por ejemplo, ahora el verbo to be, ok? Eso del verbo to be ya se lo enseñaron en su primera clase de inglés. No a estas alturas, no debería, no debería de haber ninguna duda. ¿Verdad? Nadie jamás en su vida me puede decir eh, she are, he are, no, 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 eso yo creo que ya todos lo tenemos claro, pero no está de más hacer ese repaso porque así empieza el manual con ejercicios del verbo to be, ¿ok? So, I have just two more minutes and I need to validate the attendance. Han ingresado varios que no estaban al inicio y, y sí necesito validar si, si vino o no vino. Eh, deje ver. So, let's see. Let me know, please, if you are here. I'm going to mention just people that it's without the attendance, ¿ok? Si a usted okay. no lo menciono, es porque a usted ya le puse asistencia. I'm going to mention just the one that doesn't have, ¿ok? Do not have the, the attendance, ¿ok? So, Evelyn Janet. Evelyn Janet no está. Flor de María. Flor de María no está. Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson Alexander no está. José Alberto. Eh, Juan José García. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan José. Kevin Ariel. Eh, Rachel Esther. Present teacher. Nice. Ro Rebeca Paola. Rebeca Paola. Sara Verónica. Sara Verónica. Bien. So, my goodness, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven absents. My goodness. Well, eh, ni modo. No están, no están, ni aquí no están conectados. Sara Veronica, no. Bien, so time is over. Remember, we need to start on time and finish on time as well, right? So time is over. We have class tomorrow. The same link, the same time, the same everything. So uh, working the platform, okay? No espere hasta el jueves a la medianoche estar desesperado completando la plataforma. Vaya paso a paso, vea cuántos ejercicios son. Divídalos entre cuatro y vea cómo le toca cada día para que usted vaya ahí más o menos avanzando y sin estar corriendo o estresándose, right? So, uh, thank you for everything. Now, yes, we say good night because we are about to sleep, okay? So, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. And um, have a nice rest of the night, okay? Thank so, you. Bye bye. bye. Tomorrow, Take care. teacher. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, bye. Bye bye. 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 b